What is going on YouTube? It's windy. It's very windy. I'm gonna go over here. Starting off this cold day with the 240. Um, I want to move some stuff around, pull it up a little closer. But uh, today is the last day the 240 will be stock. So uh, we're actually gonna turn on the 240. Uh, we have a bunch of suspension parts. Um, the car should make around 300, is what I've been told. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll just stay tuned and see what happens. Maybe I'll blow up the motor. Who knows? But Daniel should be here. Uh, Cameron will be here later on. Uh, Christian should be here. The other Christian might be here. Um, Ryan said he's going to be here. And Tanner, if you guys don't know who Ryan and Tanner are, uh, link right up here to the last video they were in. They're OGs to the channel. And uh, some, yeah, some other people are going to be out here hanging out, having fun. We're going to have a cookout later, even though it's freezing cold. And uh, we're going to try to get the answer for the today and tomorrow. Two day thing. So uh, this will probably be a build series because the videos are going to be so long. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, see what happens. So this is where I'm at right now. I pulled off the valve cover because I had oil leaking pretty bad. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's the gasket's pretty bad. So um, I'm glad I bought one to replace this because it's pretty bad. But I, uh, I gotta charge my Sawzall. <laughs> Because I went to go take, uh, you can't really see it, but this thing goes all the way down to the exhaust, it's EGR crap, and I went to take it off and it's starting to strip, so I had to get the Sawzall. I got halfway through, Sawzall died, forgot to charge it last night, because I'm an idiot. Um, but here's a single cam, innards, you got the cam, it's just one because, because it's a single cam, it's kind of the point, um, but, uh. I'm still waiting on uh, Daniel and Cameron and Christian and Christian and Ryan and Tanner to show up. It's, it is kind of early. I wanted to hurry up and get like a head start so I can have as much daylight as possible. And that way when they show up there's not as much work to do so that way we can get it done faster. Because I do want to get this turbo build. I want to try to get it done in two days. Probably not going to happen but that's what I want it to do. I want to be running driving in two days. Um, so today and tomorrow, we're gonna, that's what we're going to aim for. Probably won't happen, but uh, we'll see. So that's what I've gotten so far. I've got the intake off, uh, not much. I got a couple of the header bolts off. Um, I would have this the whole header off, but I got to cut that to get this stupid heat shield off. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I've gotten so far. Took the battery out, getting ready to relocated behind the passenger seat um, took the hood off because it's it was a lot easier it's hard getting the hood off by myself though I'll be honest that sucked um, it's kind of windy out here but uh, yeah I'll get back to you guys the next clip probably when I have more progress done or some people start showing up so uh, that's all I got right now all right so the exhaust full exhaust is off um, if anybody wants a sweet Stock slash custom exhaust. Uh, hit me up. It's for free. If you're in the Oklahoma area, I won't ship. Uh, local pickup only. Uh, for free. So if you don't have an exhaust on your single cam and you need one ASAP, uh, come get it. It's for free. I don't need it. So uh, yeah, you got the exhaust off. Um, so I haven't put the gasket on don't worry about that we got the exhaust off I'm gonna do the motor mounts I got ISR uh, polyurethane motor mounts I'm gonna do the motor mounts while well, I can because it's a lot easier now because I can just reach down there um, yeah so uh, yeah I'm waiting on Daniel and Cameron to still show up over here by myself waiting on everybody else to show up uh, it's cool though you know I'm getting a lot of shit done uh, be a lot faster though if I had somebody but I'm pretty happy with how far I've gotten so far 
but we got to keep going. We got to keep moving. So I didn't put their names in there. Turn of events today. Dakota's actually working on his car instead of me working on my truck. That's weird for slideways. Dakota, how's things going? I just kind of got here. Uh, I got the motor mounts in. Daniel's pulling the subframe. We did an EGR delete already. Uh, Christian's pulling the subframe. Uh, Daniel's helping. Daniel did a lot of it before Christian, though. So Porter lost a gasket. That he I lost the gasket. Off. We found the gasket. Uh, took the full exhaust off. Turbo manifold's on. Turbo is not bolted on, but it's it's on. Um, our downpipe doesn't fit, so we decided we're going to go three inches through the hood because of a hater pipe. And, uh, it's legal in Oklahoma. <laughs> so I got the spark plugs in, gapped them zero through zero. And the turbo's, turbo's sitting over there. And uh, you just go spark over there, don't zoom, because you know the zoom's terrible. It doesn't focus. I like focusing. These will be over here, don't worry about it. They'll be out of the way. No, dude. Wait, you're just going to leave your spark plugs wire just dangling over here? Yeah, arc the, straight yeah through the I'm the not going to plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> now we got to do the intercooler piping. Yeah, That's so the fun do you part. know? I'm saying. Do you know what size turbo it is? It says it's a 5057. 5057. On this. So, uh, motor health, how do you think that one's going to go? <laughs> last two days. It didn't lift or take last event, so. Well, I'm yeah, but did you hear it in the two events before? Yeah, but <laughs> did you hear it last event? <laughs> <laughs> it fixes itself. It fixes itself. Right. So, so it fixes itself. they got this going on here. Uh, hey, uh, Camera just got here, that's why this isn't out yet. No, we, we got the nuts down, but we didn't take them out yet. You gotta get this stuff frame bolt. Which one? This one. Okay. Did you get the front? Yeah. Alright, breaking news. We have the subframe out, but... You guys want to see how bad the subframe was? I didn't even have to cut it. And so is, this one's the same way, dude. They're all, this one's pretty good. That one's, it's actually pretty good. This one, pretty crap. When you can do that with your hand, <laughs> it's not good. Just imagine a car on that with all the weight going sideways. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sliding, you gotta show them, get under there. So, Look at that paint under there. Unfaded, always nice. We got Tanner over here, cutting shit. 13. Yeah. We're trying to fit the intercooler piping right now. Yeah, I actually I actually downloaded the bleep file yeah, yeah. to make you happy. <laughs> so the next video that goes up, there'll be a bunch of bleeps. Just bleep a whole video. See what happens. We got Daniel Daniel getting those dogs down his throat. I'm double fisting. That's a lot of mustard. I like mustard, dude. A mustard gang. I'm gonna get a big ass taker on my car. Why did fucking wrap it yellow or mustard yellow? No. The Mac Park video? Yeah. Uh, when I was talking about your car, you forgot to bleep out a word. I know. I and I posted on Facebook, I was like, I have a mom and stuff doesn't watch this fucking. <laughs> we, got, we got Daniel and Christian over here working on the suffering. They got two out already. Tanner's, uh, Tanner got the intercooler mounted up. It's yeah, all nice and pretty. He's, he's cutting the holes so we can run the intercooler piping. Main camera working on the, uh, the angle kit. Getting everything off. We got a, I got Villains Motorsports angle kit. The link will be down in the description. I strongly suggest you guys run the Villains angle, angle kit. It's super cheap, super affordable, and, uh, they're just great guys. So, I'll leave the link below. Go buy some they are. Well, it's using Nissan parts, so technically no, but... Yo, we don't play with these So we're just gonna continue to work on the car. Like I said, subframe's out. We're putting solid subframe bushings in it from Offbeat Garage. Uh, if you don't know who Offbeat Garage is, he's got a YouTube. Go so check him out. Uh, link will also be down below for the solid subframe bushings. They're the cheapest one, and they're, they're, they're good in my opinion. The wall batteries don't last very long. They do not. So the wall. Gets hey, let's, let's get some hill 
Can we, can we have some like hill tea or, uh, I don't know, I use hill tea at work, so I just, just assume that would work. Yo, Nas, I know you sponsor the drift events for Full Lock and uh, Friction Motorsports, but you could also sponsor me if you're watching this, Nas. I like Nas. I drink Nas. Do you drink Red Bull? Red Bull? Oh. I'm older. That's true, he's an old man. This whole grapple out here, you know, putting in work for the boys. <laughs> How to do? Uh, You're in the light, I can't see you. Doing the uh, ECU right now. Yeah. So we got the intercooler on. The turbo is on. The intercooler's Currently on. Currently we're trying to wire the mass airflow. Um, because uh, we're using a 300ZX MAF, and there's four wires, and I only have three, and I don't know. So oh yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we, we got, got the bushings for the solid bushings in for the subframe. Look at that. Look at that. The uh, these new arms will be here tomorrow, so that's why it's not going in tonight. The subframe's not going to go in tonight. But. Yeah. About, the intercooler though looks. Sexy as hell. Thanks, Tanner. Huge shout out to Tanner. He, he yeah, left. Big Tanner. Yeah. But thanks for uh, thanks for hooking All us up. All the and everything. Tanner did a great job. And he did a hooked us up. Made us some custom brackets. Look at that. Now we're running just Work. wire wire for the turbo cover. Fine. Yep. No rocks, no dirt. Still have to do the oil feed and the oil return for the turbo. Um, but that's, I mean, that's pretty much where we're at right now. We're installing the angle angle kit too, also. We've got it marked off so you guys can see it before and after. Yeah, this is before and after angles. But uh, I got the Villains Motorsports angle kit. Link will be in the description. I strongly suggest getting this angle kit. It's the cheapest on the market. Also the best in my opinion. High quality. It's super high quality. Look how, look how beefy that So that what it comes with is uh, modified knuckles, extended, uh, Inner tie rods, outer tie rods, lower control arm, full angle kit. And then I also got some Voodoo 13 uh, front tension arms just because I wanted more wheel clearance for the angle. Don't worry about this ugly big stock suspension. My coilovers are on the way. Don't worry. Don't bitch. I don't want to hear it. Please. I'll bleep everything. It's okay. <laughs> you know, after I cussed, I was like, dang it. I gotta. It's. I'm. I've gotten used to bleeping stuff, so it's okay. Fruity, fresh and fruity. And uh, it's basically where we're at. We might be able to start it tonight. Uh, probably not, but we'll see. We'll get pretty close, but it will be ready for the drift event November 18th. We'll be out there. Come see us if you want a subscription. If you want to drift, it's at Stroud. If you want to drift, it's November 18th. If you have, it's thirty dollars to drift. They. They threw in some money to balance the fee. That's the last drift event of the year in Oklahoma, Stroud, November 18th. 30 bucks to drift. If you have two cones, though, it's only 20 bucks. So if you bring two cones, 20 bucks. If you're a spectator, it's 10 bucks to get in, or you can bring one cone and get in for free. So, uh, yeah. Daniel's putting the ECU in, and we're trying to get everything else put together. It's basically it right now. Angle's going. Hater pipe, we gotta go get welded up tomorrow. Yep, we're gonna three inch through the hood. Three inch through the hood. For all of our haters. The worst part I think about this whole build is going to be the oil feed, in my opinion, but we'll see how that goes. Do you not have somewhere? Well, so we're ending day one. We got most things done, actually. Uh, the turbo's on, intercooler's on, inter intercooler piping is fitted. Um, we still have to wire up the mass airflow, which I'm going to look at a wiring diagram tonight because I have no idea how to wire a single overhead cam to a 300ZX MAF. Angle kit's on, uh, Voodoo front tension rods are on, rear subframe bushings, uh, solid subframe bushings are on, ECU's in, uh, we got most things done, we still, we have like a little bit of like, just little tiny things that we have to do now, so just finish the little tiny things tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can start it tomorrow is what I'm hoping. I think we should be able to but uh, you never know. But uh, that's it for that's it for this vlog. Uh, thanks to everybody that helped. Um, Christian and Christian and Daniel and 
uh, Cameron and Tanner. Thank you guys for coming through and helping. That's it for this vlog.